John, uh, John, I hold my hands. I got the, 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 the questions right here for our guest tonight from Showtime's uh, the, circus. the Circus. We got uh, John Heilman, Mark McKinnon, and Jennifer Palmieri. Yes. Uh, they're out here to talk yes. about what's going on in the world, what's yes. happening in, in politics uh, here and around the world. Award winning show, right? It is. Mm. It, you guys, it is, you know it's an award winning show. You answered? <laughs> Are they an award? It's got to be. We've got awards. They've got to have an awards. They're way more important than we are. They're on Showtime. Isn't that fancier? <laughs> it's a very fancy group yeah. of people coming yeah. out here in just a moment. Now, folks, I love a lot of things. But most of all, I love love. <laughs> and I love that I love it. Even the word love I love. The L, the O, the V, and sexiest of all, that silent E. <laughs> Who is she? What's she hiding? What isn't she saying? And you singles out there already know that dating apps have dominated the scene for almost a decade, but people are souring on them now because word on the street is that Gen Z is ready to break up with Tinder. That's right, Tinder is chuggy, high key, sus, no cap, fam. <laughs> okay? And I don't have to explain to you what any of that means. With Tinder on the decline, there's a slew of new dating apps filling the void, and I'll tell you all about them in my new loverly segment. Romansplaining with Stephen Colbert. Dating Apps Edition. First up to fill the app gap is Snack, which describes itself as not your parents' dating app. <laughs> that is great news because no one wants to accidentally match with their mom. Wow, this one seems really great. We have so much in common, same hometown, same last name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next up in the love machines is the actual new app, Schmooze, which will show you memes to evaluate what kind of humor you like. At that point, you'll receive a hashtag match wreck with someone whose humor allegedly matches yours. <laughs> the theory here being that if you share a sense of humor, you're more likely to find someone sexually attractive. For instance, you here in the theater laughed at many of my jokes in the monologue, <laughs> and that's why they had to shoot me from the waist up. <laughs> Even... <laughs> and why I'm sitting down right now. Even last-gen dating apps are trying to up their game because Bumble has acquired the Gen Z dating app Fruits, where users can specify their preferences for what kind of relationship they wish to find. If they post a watermelon, they're looking for a friend with benefits. A cherry means they want a serious long-term relationship. Grape indicates they want to meet someone over a drink. And for some reason, on Fruits, the peach means that they're only interested in kissing. <laughs> Though, though I do want to point out, it doesn't say what you're kissing. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully on fruits, you can soon also offer a nice tossed salad with eggplant, <laughs> then run through a sprinkler. <laughs> clearly, clearly it's the wild west of dating opportunities out there, and Papa wants to get his peach wet, which is why Tonight, I am launching my new line of Colbert proprietary dating apps, each with a cool new gimmick, guaranteed to make you say, all right. <laughs> First up, if you enjoyed fruits, why not try its sister app, Vegetables? <laughs> Vegetables is the app with its own hyper-specific sexual emoji codes. For instance, broccoli means you like it roughage. <laughs> if you don't like snack, you might try Rex, which is actually is your parents' dating app. It's perfect for anyone who is fleeing a prophecy of patricide, solves the Sphinx's riddle, and accidentally sleeps with their mom, then gouges out their eyes in despair. <laughs> and finally, if you're hungry for love but find the pantry a bit bare, why not order out by visiting Grub Hump? <laughs> That's where we send you your favorite meal and you are automatically matched with your delivery driver because... <laughs> Come on! Seems nice. It seems nice. Because no one understands you like the man who knows that all three of those sesame chickens are really for you. <laughs> we'll be right back with a host of Showtime's The Circus.